know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Oh, hi friends. It's me, Jackson. And this is a little red wagon. We have been having so much fun with it here in the clubhouse. My friend Zoe filled it with lots of books and took the wagon up and down the streets, sharing books from the wagon. This morning, I took my cuddly baby for a walk to visit my neighbors. And then I had a great idea. I decided to fill the wagon with lots of clothes for my bear. That way, wherever we go, I can have the perfect outfit for my bear. Like if it's raining, I can quickly put bear bear in a raincoat. Or if we go to the pool, I could put bear bear in a swimsuit. Or if the fire department needs help, bear bear to the rescue! With Everything in this little red wagon, Bebe can do anything at any time. Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Jackson. Ho, ho. Is that a wagon with you? Yes, Ollie, I just love this wagon. I filled it with so many outfits for my bear so we can always be ready to do anything. Your bear can do many things, it's true. But I know something you can always do. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Her hands that can fix things. <laughs> oh, hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. I'm so happy to see you today. I'm fixing my friend's little red wagon. <laughs> Just talking to God. <laughs> Did you ever talk to God? Do you know what? That reminds me of a story. You want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. So, today's true story from the Bible begins with a woman named Hannah. Uh-oh. Look at Hannah's face. How do you think Hannah feels? Do you think Hannah feels sad? Oh, yeah, I do too. Can you show me your sad face? Oh, yeah. That's what a sad face looks like. <laughs> Even though Hannah was sad, she knew she could pray and talk to God. Oh, look, what is Hannah doing now? Oh, I know, she's praying. Hannah is talking to God about why she's sad. Hannah knew she could pray and talk to God about anything. <laughs> oh, what is Hannah doing now? <laughs> Hannah is crying. Oh, now look at Hannah's face. How do you think she feels now? Yes, Hannah is smiling. She feels happy. Talking to God made her feel so much better. Hannah had joy again because she knew that God loved her and she could pray and talk to God about anything. God loves you and God loves me. That means we can pray and talk to God about anything too. You can pray and talk to God when you feel happy, or sad, 
or frustrated. <laughs> when you get a new toy at the store and you feel so excited, you can talk to God. When you lose your favorite teddy bear and you feel worried, you can talk to God. When you go to someplace new and you feel nervous and afraid, oh, you can talk to God. You can pray and talk to God anytime, anywhere, and about anything. Because God loves you. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. You can pray to God any day and any time, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow. Hannah talked to God when she was sad because she knew she could talk to God anytime, anywhere, and about anything. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I don't need a special outfit to talk to God. I can talk to God anytime, anywhere, and about anything. You know what? I think I'm gonna cuddle with Baby and talk to God. Bye! I will always love you. Jeremiah 31.3 I will always love you. Jeremiah 31.3